times these. Good job, Mike. Get him up. Get him up, Onyx. Good job, man. That's it. Aggressive. Everything we do is aggressive. Bonner, left hand pass, right hand pass. The work, the work. Way to work. Powerful, powerful. Explode up, explode up. There you go. Explode up. Straight back, flatten your back up. Mike, drop your butt. Drop your butt. Let's go, be strong. One minute's nothing. Don't worry about missing or making. It's all about your footwork. Do, does your aspirations, you aspire to be a Division One player, you aspire to be a pro, do, is what you do every day match that ambition? It has to be matched by what you do on a daily basis. Sometimes that comes later, sometimes that comes early, but it has to come. As a student, you need to have a certain standard. As a basketball player, you need to have a certain standard. Right? And I can go into all that 16 core courses, uh, math, science, English, you have to be an academic student, not an applied student. It's not easy. If you have a coach that's willing to invest time on the court, that coach is probably willing to invest time to try and help you move on. Right? So we see typically in the month of July, Guys are all over the U.S., Canada, international playing. And it used to be back in the day, even, you know, I think Vidal's era was really the tipping point when things began to change. Because in the summertime, what you used to do was you used to go to camp. Five star was a huge deal. Guys like Barkley and Jordan and Magic, even some of the, even some of the uh, you know, fairly recent guys, okay, they would go to camp in the summer. And the whole AU culture came to change. Right? What we saw is guys playing all summer long. There's been a huge impact because of it internationally. In the US just won gold last year after really struggling internationally for the past eight years. What did they do? They got everybody on their, in their country to make a three year commitment to play. And they worked, and they trained, and they practiced in the offseason in order to get guys. I'll stop here. There are guys currently, right now, in the top 20, 25 in the U.S. on rivals, scouts, hoop scoop, you name it. That in four years, will be somebody that nobody even heard of. That'll be making a ton more money and playing at a higher level. Because that was a kid that was in the gym. While they were running around, competing in every event they possibly could. So they could get their ego stroke, because that's what it is. Right? Keep that in mind. I, I commend you guys, because... You're doing it the right way. If you want to be great, you're here. If you want to be part of the hype, then you're all over the place. And I'm not saying there's not a place for that, but like everything in life, there has to be a balance. And the balance can't be to one extreme, okay? So Michael Phelps, this for you, babe. The business. The business. I'm gone for the gold, my heart is in control, my mind is on succeed, and I am in the lead, don't buy into the schemes, the science of strategic, just giant in UTs, brings triumph and belief, I'm relying on redeem, inspired by the green, never tired, no fatigue, never defying to my team, never lying on a thing, until I'm lying on a thing, hooked to wires and things, I'ma die as a king, if I don't do it now, I'ma try it again, and when I do accomplish it, I'ma try it again. I'm a riot insane, I'm a lion, my mane hangs down to my strings and they're tied to the game I stay dry when it rain, I'm tired of the fame, got everything to gain and I'm proud of the pain The pride and the blame, the wise and the strange, denied by the same, besides we're the same Who's guiding the train, who's flying the plane, who's driving the lane, who dies when it bang, who fires when it